For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the man attempts to pull down the tree using a cable and a small pulley in the arrangement shown. If the tension in AV is 60 pounds, this is AV right here, determine the tension of cable CAD and the angle theta in which, in which uh, the cable makes with the pulley. So basically we're going to draw the free body diagram and it's going to look something like this. We got this tension, this tension, they're both the same because it's the same cable. And we got this force and this force is equal to 60 pounds. Now this angle is equal to 20 degrees and this angle is equal to, let's call it theta. So, Another thing I'm going to add is this whole angle, which will be theta plus 20 degrees, is going to equal to phi. So the first thing you know is that the sum of the forces in the x actually let me is equal to zero. So 60 cosine of 30 because you know that if that is 30 this is also 30 which means this is also 30 so 60 cosine of 30 minus the tension cosine of 20 minus the tension cosine of phi is equal to 0 so you know that the tension times negative cosine of 20 minus cosine of phi is equal to negative 51.96 which means that the tension is equal to 51.96 over cosine of 20 plus cosine of phi so this is our first equation. Now you can see that we have two variables t and phi so we need another equation to be able to solve the system. So you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero in statics and you know that negative 60 sine of 30 which is the y component of this force plus the tension sine of 20 which is this component of the force plus the tension sine of phi which is the y component of this force is all equal to zero so when you solve for t you're going to get that t is equal to 30 over sine of 20 plus sine of phi So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these equations equal to each other and you're going to get that 51.96 over cosine of 20 plus cosine of phi is equal to 30 over sine of 20 plus sine of phi. So I'm going to start solving this equation now. So I get 52. I'm going to approximate this to 52. Make it a little easier. 52 sine of 20 plus 52 sine of phi is equal to 30 cosine of 20 plus 30 cosine of phi so basically I, I'm gonna multiply uh, this and I'm gonna multiply this and I'm gonna get that 17.8 <coughs> plus 52 sine of phi 
is equal to 28.2 plus 30 cosine of phi. So now I'm going to solve for the common numbers and it's going to look something like this 52 sine of phi minus 30 cosine of phi is equal to 10.4 so now this is something you know from trigonometry you know that the cosine square of phi is equal to 1 minus the sine square of phi so if you solve for the cosine of phi you get that the cosine of phi is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine square of phi let me scroll down so I have more room. So now I'm going to keep solving this. 52 sine of phi minus 30. And now this cosine of phi I'm going to replace for this. Square root of 1 minus sine square of phi is equal to 10.4. So now you get that 52 sine of phi minus 10.4 is equal to 30 square root of 1 minus sine square of phi. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 30. 52 divided by 30 is square root of 3 sine of phi minus 0.347 is equal to 1 minus sine square of phi. So now I'm going to square everything and I'm going to get that I'm this is 3 sine square of phi minus 0.694 0.694 square root of 3 sine of phi plus 0 0.120 basically what I did is I square both sides is equal to 1 minus sine square of phi and then I'm going to pass this 1 and this minus sine square of phi. So I get 0 on the right. And I'm going to get that this is equal to 4 sine square of phi minus 0.694 square root of 3 sine of phi minus 0 0.880 is equal to 0. So here I'm going to substitute sine of phi by x and I'm going to get that this is equal to 4x squared minus 1.2x minus 0.880 is equal to 0. I just substituted it. You don't really need to do it, but I did it so the problem becomes uh, more obvious what you got to do. And basically what you got to do is use the quadratic formula, which means that x is equal to negative v plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And x is going to give you two results. When you plug in <coughs> this number for a, this number for b, don't forget the sign, and this number for c, don't forget the sign. When you plug them into this formula, you're going to get that x is either equal 0.642 or negative 0.342 which means that when you replace again x by sine of phi back you're gonna get that sine of phi is equal to 0.642 you solve for phi and you get that phi is equal to 40 degrees or 
sine of phi is equal to negative 0.342 and you get that phi is equal to negative 20 degrees now this one we keep because it makes sense and this one we dump because this obviously can be negative 20 degrees because if it was negative 20 degrees this cable would be somewhere over here so we discard this one and this is the angle that it forms it's called phi so if you plug in a uh, phi let's say into here the new value of phi which is 40 degrees you get that t is equal to 30.46 pounds and they are not really asking us for fee remember I told you this is fee right at the beginning theta is equal uh, fee is equal to theta plus 20 so theta is equal to fee minus 20 and theta is equal to 20 degrees final answer for the angle final answer for the tension formed on the cables Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.